How's it going guys? My name's Austin, and this is Second Real Cinema, a series of videos dedicated to discussing less talked about movies. On this episode, I'll be talking about one of the least talked about movies by one of the most talked about directors, Martin Scorsese's The Color of Money. To me, this is one of the most underrated Scorsese movies, one of the most underrated Tom Cruise movies, one of the most underrated 80s movies, one of the most underrated sequels. It's just great, and doesn't get nearly enough love. For those of you who don't know, this is a belated sequel to the 1961 film The Hustler, starring Paul Newman. In this movie, Newman's pool hustler character, Fast Eddie Felsen, takes under his wing an extremely talented and equally immature pool player named Vincent. Along with Vincent's girlfriend, they hit the road, touring pool halls as Eddie teaches Vincent the art of hustling. Now for me, this has very much become a comfort film. I love the road movie element and the wintry vibe that the film has, as well as its relatively low stakes story. Unlike a lot of Scorsese films, or at least the ones that most people often associate his name with, nobody's life is on the line here. It's not violent or profane, it's just consistently entertaining and fun to watch, thanks to its clever writing, great performances, and of course, the master behind the camera. I feel like a lot of people probably view this as a director for hire gig in Scorsese's filmography, which honestly is fair. Why was a sequel to The Hustler needed 25 years after its release? Well, it probably wasn't, so I see why some might see this as a strange choice for Scorsese. But it can't be denied just how much energy and stylistic flair he brings to this movie with his direction. His craftsmanship is on full display here. And then there's the acting. Talk about X-Factor Overload. Paul Newman and Tom Cruise together is almost too much charisma for one film. I think this is one of Cruise's best performances, honestly. Say what you will about the guy, but he is a born movie star. He may not have the most range, but what he does, he does very well. And here, I think he's perfectly cast as the cocky and immature apprentice to Newman's seasoned veteran. See? She learns. Let me ask you something. I mean, I see these guys, they hustle and they win. How come I always gotta play the jerk? I mean, why can't we have a hustle when I win? It's definitely a showy performance at times, but Cruz also nails the subtle facial expressions that tell us exactly what his character is feeling and exactly what he's gonna do next. It's like a nightmare, isn't it? It just keeps getting worse and worse, doesn't it? And I can't talk about this movie and just gloss over this long take. It encapsulates so many of the things that I love about this movie. Scorsese's direction, Cruz's energy, and the film's great use of its soundtrack. It's absolutely electric, and makes playing pool look like the coolest thing ever. I put it right up there with the you should be dancing sequence in Saturday Night Fever. This guy just getting lost and doing what he does best, and being the star of the show for a few minutes. I seriously can't recommend this movie enough. It's the kind of film I can't imagine anybody not enjoying. It's just a perfect piece of 80s entertainment that's honestly better than it has any right to be. What do you guys think of The Color of Money? Have you seen it? Let me know your thoughts on the film. Be sure to like and subscribe, and go check out Ardor Pictures on Instagram for more movie content. Thank you for listening. Take care.